What's up everyone, Another Void here with a new game for you. I'm going to do a Let's Play on. It's called Factorio. I just got it off Steam this weekend for, I think, $20. And it just, it's been on Steam for a while, I think, but it's just now coming into its own. It's got a lot of content. I kind of thought it was going to be kind of not all that fleshed out, because that's kind of how things work on Steam now. But it's really crazy. It's basically kind of like Minecraft. If you like mod packs and automation and stuff, you're going to like this game. So I'm going to jump right into it and kind of explain it as I go. Um, uh, there should be a link in the description to, uh, straight to the to Steam if you want to buy it. There are mods for this game, which I won't get into the, at least the first season. If I do more than one season, I probably will. I, I don't know. We'll see. So that's kind of neat. I can't wait to see that. Apparently there are a lot. Um, it's kind of like the Minecraft thing uh, where there are a lot of mods. The mod community is pretty strong. There's also a map editor. You can play other maps. There's also a multiplayer. I will not be doing multiplayer, but you can do multiplayer. I guess where you build together. I'm not really positive on how that works. Let's just jump right into the to the let's play. I've played this. I've played about three different maps up to from the starting piece to about mid to late game, just to kind of get used to the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in on the current map seed that I have because I really like it. I'm going to get rid of all these um, all these auto saves and stuff, and I'm going to work with the basically the first. Uh, steps into this map seed so and i'll also tell you how to reset your seed because the seed is really important um the seeds whoa whoa wait i don't want to delete my seed um they can be very very different so you have to be really careful let's delete this this is the, the first time i ever played the game just kind of getting used to the systems how everything works there's a lot to this game as you will see it's going to be a long let's play so here we go let's load this game up and there's some tips that you can uh, check out so i'm gonna hit escape right here to pause for a sec so Basically, if you look up here in the mini-map, there are different uh, resources on the ground. Now, this is an infinite world like Minecraft. It just spawns in uh, randomly. So when you do a new seed, like if you wanted a new seed and you didn't like this one, if you hit restart, it'll just regenerate the seed. Um, and if we go back, if we quit back and we say play new game, there's also a campaign mode where it says something has happened you need to do x to move on to the next campaign it's pretty cool i've not played through it but it's kind of neat kind of helps you teach you the game a little bit but in my opinion looking at youtube is better there's a lot of tutorials and stuff out there so go check that out if you need some help so if you click new game you get all these options on iron ore copper how much how abundant they are and all those things there are also enemies who attack you there are natives to the to this world you basically crash landed on this world and you've got to build a rocket to send materials away or to leave something like that to complete the game there's actually an end to the game so but there are also native creatures who don't like the pollution and the noise and the more you build your factories the more they'll attack you with heavier dudes so you can turn this to more passive enemies never attack first that's pretty boring though as you can see you can say infinite map world uh, map seed you can actually put one in if somebody finds a cool map seed on the forums i'm sure they'll send it out this is a by an indie company really awesome game for how for what i thought it was getting for 20 bucks so we're not going to do that we're not going to generate we already have a map seed that i like so we're going to go back to that load and we're going to load it in and you can save uh if you just hit like you've already seen probably you can save your progress it's also a roguelike if you die that's the end of the game uh, basically it just means you have to go back for your previous save so anyway if you look at the mini map you can see there's i've got copper i've got some iron right there there's some a, a couple coal deposits over here and there's a couple pieces of stone in and around about now the red those are the aliens the native aliens okay and as my pr uh, smog builds up it will trigger them to start attacking me because they don't like the smog um, and there's another group up here. So let's just get into it. You're just this dude who crash landed. You start out with a little bit of inventory here at iron plates. Let me build. This is where you can craft some stuff. I'm going to build an iron pick. So if, if you see, if I try to get some stone, it takes forever. Oh, wow, that sound is really loud. Let's look at, um, maybe my sound is loud here. Yeah, it's turned up full blast, but also I need to turn the sound down in the game. Um, sound, master volume. Let's just turn it to about that. That usually works. All right. So you can see, if I'm mining by hand, it's pretty slow. Let me create a pick. That's just a left click. Uses up four of my iron plates. Now I can get some stone. You can see I'm mining a lot faster, and I'm getting some stone, and it's going into my inventory. So that's the first way you can start crafting, or I mean start gathering resources. What I want, and you can see I already have one, is a burner miner drill, mining drill, and I've got a furnace. So what I'm going to do right off the bat, and you'll get... 
here's some oil. This is a couple oil deposits. But you'll get used to how to play the game pretty quick. And from what I've experienced, this is my the, the way I think is best. So I put that drill down. It's going to drill materials. And I'm going to tell it export. And I'm going to push alt. Now I'm on uh, advanced mode. All you can, There's only one little thing now. You'll see later. That's going to export directly into this furnace. So I'm going to get iron ore and I'm going to smelt it immediately. Um, to do that, I'm going to go get some coal real fast. You can also use wood if you chop down trees. There aren't that many. There isn't that much wood in this area. But I do know uh, I want to get my power plant up pretty quick, and I want to do it up here. This is a great spot because it's near a little piece of, of coal here where I can use that to to uh, power my my power system, and it's near water because it's a steam turbine system. So let me clear some wood out. Just chop these trees down. They will never grow back as far as I know. Um, but this will give me a little bit of material for burning that drill put in that drill and put in the furnace and also it just helps me clear this area out because I'm gonna try to get to electricity as quick as I can um, running machines off of coal it gets really tedious because you have to transfer the coal back and forth and stuff like that it's really kind of a pain so let me put half of the wood in there and half in here that's well eight pieces so now you can see I'm smelting iron plate uh, these iron uh, plates from iron ore so the next thing I'm going to do, the reason is because I want to make more of these drills. I need three iron gears and a furnace. Now, a furnace is five stone, and gear, which is a subcomponent, is two iron plates for one gear. And I need, uh, no, that's not it. I need three of those. You don't have to craft the, oh, there's also a day-night cycle, so that's kind of neat, and we'll talk more about that later. You, need, you can light up your area and stuff. Um, if I control, I can either get this out by just, doing that or I can control uh, and left click it and just pick it pick it up right out of there that's kind of nice um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one over here I think I need more okay I need some more stone let's go mine that by hand I think I already have yeah four so now I can create a furnace but let's just create that dude right there I'm gonna put him on the stone so I don't have to do it anymore you can see it's crafting it down there it creates the subcomponents for me so one thing I can also do is create a chest with the wood that I cut, and I can export directly to the chest. Now you can see I just clicked, one, I just pushed one. The hot bar down here is one, two, three, four, five. Shift one, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of neat. Let's get this guy up and running with a little bit of wood here, and he'll start putting stone right into that box. See, you can see. See, if I push Alt, I can't see what's in the box anymore. So it's nice just to. Hit all control click. Got some more iron plates. I need some, actually, could really use some coal. I need to put my next burner down over here because I'm, I'm running out of fuel. I don't have any more fuel. Um, I also need some more stone. So we're going to make another burner. I'm going to show you a cool trick I learned off a of YouTuber. So each of these videos is going to be eight minutes or 30 minutes long. I was looking at the clock, it's eight. I'm going to shift left click to get the whole stack. If I control, uh, left click it'll pick out everything from that inventory so I can create another burner I think yeah drill right there I'm gonna carry two of them you can see it's crafting all the subcomponents and then it crafts the uh, the drill this is kind of a cool trick I learned from a guy off of YouTube it's really cool this is a great way to uh, automate this piece right off the bat this whole game is all about automation um, I really learned that I loved when I played Minecraft, the Minecraft mods. What I'm also always doing is just automating everything to make life a little easier. So if I shift right click, I'll get half a stack. So basically what these are going to do is mine up coal and give it to the other guy. They're going to keep themselves supplied right here. But then when I want some coal, I can just control click those and grab the coal out and put them in the other machines like this. See, now I've got 10 coal. I'm going to start running out over here. Yeah, this guy's already out. So let me go give this guy half the coal there so he can keep mining stone. And then I'm going to take the wood out of there because I don't, um, I want to keep my wood. There isn't a lot of wood in the starter area of this, and I'm going to use my wood to uh, make some tele or some um, poles for my electricity. You'll see that in a little bit. Let's go get a few more pieces of coal. Why didn't I just do that? I'm already pff, see I'm so used to Minecraft I still mine a lot let's go these guys don't need that much coal so let's put about that much in there how much does this guy have 
Yeah, he's going to need more. There we go. Got more stone, more plates. Oh, I don't I don't have plates. There, now I do. All right, let's create a couple more of these burner. Actually, let's start setting up our electricity. I don't want to do too much coal mining. I want to really would like to do it over here. So what I'm going to do is set up an automated way to get my coal into my um, electric system here. So to set this up, the most efficient way, and I don't have electronic circuits, which I need copper, so we need one more of these drills and a box. Let's make that box real fast while I'm running around. Uh, let's just make an iron chest. It's fine. I make that out of iron plates. So let's grab that. I don't know why it keeps popping the inventory up. There we go. It's because I'm being dumb. That's why. Yeah, this guy's about to run out. Let's do one more run of coal here. Okay, and now let's go put that burner down or that drill down and refill this guy over here. Iron plates is pretty much what you're mainly going to need in the beginning. Um, so let's get this this coal guy down right here, and I usually like to put this on five. If I middle click this, see how it's locked? Every time I create a chest, it will go here, so I can hotkey it, right? If I control left click, it will unlock it. So now every time I make a chest, it'll go in that spot, so I can use it as a hotkey. I know it will always work. There, let's get this guy out. Oh, let's get him hooked up. Need to make a few of those copper, or get some copper plates so I can make some... Uh, so what it is is I need these chips and I need copper wire to do it that takes plates. All right, so I've got a couple pieces. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I want. So I can right click to to break something. I want to make a furnace because I want to auto smelt. So let's do furnace here. It's already there. Okay, and I don't have any more fuel. So in the beginning, there's a little bit of running around. This is a good seed though. You'll see why in a little bit. Um, you need a lot of space to create all your automation because the systems are not all that compact. And unlike Minecraft, you've got a giant world. So you really don't... I'm going to do half and half. See how I have to back again? Uh, you don't need to worry about it taking up too much space. The only thing is you need to know is you do have to defend the space that you occupy, okay? Um, because those... Um, those do those uh, aliens are going to come come hot and heavy and so if you're too sprawled out they do they're pretty smart with how they attack too so just kind of be a little careful so do I have iron I don't or I mean I don't have copper plates let me go pop the rest of these ore into this thing because I don't need that poor there we go that and uh is that gonna do it let's start creating things I'll see if I can so I'm gonna make uh five boilers and then I'm going to make, just for now, one steam engine, and I need one pump. And I'm going to need some pipe. That's what she said. I'm going to need, I think it's three pipe, but we will check that out in a second. Going to need one of these inserters. I'll tell you what those do in a second. You can see all the subcomponents right here. And then you can see a total raw uh, amount of resources down at the bottom. See, it's mostly iron. It's very iron heavy. So, uh, how's this guy doing? Let's let's get him going a little bit. How's the furnace doing? It wouldn't be a bad idea to set another one of these up, but you'll see pretty soon I won't need these um these the ones that require coal. These drills that require coal. It's not a big deal. So, you're not really under the gun in the beginning. It the aliens aren't like on a timer or anything. Uh what it is is it's so I'm pushing M here for map, and you can see with all you also get your pollution level. And as that pollution level hits these enemy or these alien bases, they will just send dudes in to try to attack. So really, it's uh, the more pollution you generate, the more these guys are going to want to attack you. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to set this one up here. I'm going to make this whole area is going to basically be my power plant eventually. Uh, for right now, I don't need a lot of space, but eventually I'm going to clear this whole space out. And this game, is a lot of it is about kind of thinking about how you're going to build, what you're going to build where, and is there enough space to build it. So, in my think, my theory here is, I'm going to want to hook up pipes in here, but I want a conveyor belt going underneath to feed coal in that direction. So I'm going to want enough space for one conveyor belt here, and I'll show you what the, all that is in a second. I'm going to make this three pipes before I start putting down my burners. So what burners do is they're going to heat up the water that's coming in out of this pump uh, to the, to a high enough temperature 
to run this steam engine and it's pretty large so what we're going to do is feed this sucker coal and it's going to start heating that water up so it's saying hey i don't i'm not connected to any power lines you need to make some power lines so let's go in here and do that i can create these small electric poles with just copper plate and wood so that's why i'm saving up that little bit of wood that i uh cut down let's just craft all of them into wood i'm needing some copper pretty soon here so I'm gonna daisy chain down some of these dudes. Now I like these guys right here, number four, slot four there. Cause I'm gonna start getting this coal automated. But first thing I wanna do is automate this coal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this electric mining drill so I don't have to feed it coal. Which means I need more copper plates. Let's go, let's go get some coal out of these guys. Coal is still gonna be needed even though I'm gonna go electric with my mining because you need it for furnaces for now anyway later in the game we won't but let's see how are these guys doing uh, he's probably okay and he's out let's give him a whole nother stack these guys are probably gonna be pretty much done so really not a huge need for them to keep going I really just don't want to slow down again I'm not you're not really under the gun as far as time limits concerned or anything how much oh God, I've got plenty of stone um it's just nice to keep your production going. It's not that big of a deal. So you can also see I have a weapon for when the, uh, I get attacked. I will fire my pistol. You can create better weapons in the game. It's kind of that's kind of obvious, I guess. Let's create one of these mining drills right now because I'm not sure how much how many resources I am going to need. And then I'm going to feed it. I'm going to make a conveyor belt. So let's make some conveyor belt or transport belts here. You can see they're mainly just take iron. We're gonna need a bunch of those, so let's just do it like that. I like this guy in the third position, and this guy right here. And then we've got uh, an inserter. Shoot, that's an electric inserter. There is one that uses coal. Obviously, I don't want to use it because it takes forever to get it set up. So this is a little bit bigger. And if you look over here to your right, you can see how much coal is there. It actually drills out that resource. It's not perpetual. So you can see. Um, this will clear, you know, this has 7,300 coal. So this is pretty good. Now I want to put it here because I'm just going to have it directly, just go directly into there. Another good way to do it is to like set them side by side. They will clear this whole space in a line. Then when that's cleared, you can move them back to this line. So that's kind of cool too. Maybe I will do that. That's not a bad idea. I can still do it that like that. And when I need more coal, I can set up another one right there. So it doesn't have any power. That's kind of obvious. Let's get this conveyor belt system set up. The conveyor belts don't need um, any power. They just are always running. And if you stand on them, it'll move whatever item you put on here. So the, mine, the coal it mines will go down this conveyor belt. Then I want it to be picked up by this inserter. So the arrow is where it's going to drop the item. So I can click R to turn it. That'll do. That's with any item. I want it to put it in to this boiler, right? So I click that. He's all set up. Now he doesn't have any power either. That set up some poles. Now I need a pole to connect to this guy. So you can see when they're, when it's got that brackets, it's connected. But let's see if I can, con nope. See, it doesn't have that range. I can't connect everybody. So let's just connect over here. And then see how there's a line? And so I can connect up all the way over into here. So I'm gonna do, I don't know, this is probably fine. Then I can connect up this whole line, right? So now they're ready. They just there's no power being generated. So let's just put a little bit of coal in here. We'll start with eight. Now there's some generation. You can see just by hovering over it, there's some generation going on. You can also click the power pole, and you can see kind of what generation you have. Consumption is this. Production is this. That means I have way more capacity than I'm using right now. The only thing that's really using anything are these two things. So you can see it dumped off the coal and left it in line. This one does not need any more coal. It puts, a, it goes to five and it stops. So it looks like the water temperature is nice and, and hot. It's coming in at 15, hits this boiler, gets up to 100, and it's done. This thing to, to operate at max capacity needs 10 units of water at 100 uh, degrees. So that's what it's getting, okay? Um, these don't need anything right now because I only have one generator, but let's hook those up anyway just since we're here. So I'm doing R to turn these. I want the coal to go all the way down this line. And then I'm going to mouse over this belt and push R again to turn it down like that. So I'm going to create 
four more inserters here. Again, this is not all that necessary because I don't. I'm only going to need this one burner for this one generator, maybe two at, at times. But I kind of just want to get. Oop, no, nope, that's backwards. See, it's going to take from there and put here. I don't want that. So let me just remove that. There we go. So it's going to fill these up, even though there's nothing. It's not going to use it. They're going to sit in there and probably just not get used a lot. There we go. Cause, so this is all set up. That is completely set up. The power will be automated now. Now I'm just going to start hooking, replacing all these with these uh, regular ones here. We're at the 20-minute mark already. So I need more iron plates. Let's go get some more. Let's. We don't really need any more coal. Let's just go down here and pick up some plates. We might need some coal. Actually, that's not necessarily true. Let's fill this guy up. He needs to keep working. There we go. We need iron plates. And this guy too, really. See, he's out of fuel. Uh, let's leave that and let's put... Yeah, that, that's good. Let's put 12 in there. There we go. I don't think I need more stone, but we'll get some anyway. Stone is kind of hard to come by sometimes. Even these little patches right here, I'll mine those out because later in the game when you need to build walls with stone and everything, it kind of can be difficult to find a lot of stone. Um, how many of those? I have 24. I've got plenty. So I'm going to go pick these up. And that's good. If you push F, if there's any coal they dropped on the ground, you'll pick it up. Let's make a couple more of these electric drill. Let's do... Let's just do one coal drill for now. And I'm going to dump that into a box. So when this is done, I'll just uh, plop that sucker down. Now let's make um, at least two more, right? Because we're going to need one for iron and one for um, one for copper. And we're definitely going to want to have it already set up when we get over there. You can see it auto-saving. That's pretty cool. So now we need to connect this, right? If you come over here and just drag drag this thing down it will set them at the farthest, furthest dis dis distance possible to still connect. I'm going to go with, well, at this point it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back here, though, because I'm eventually going to want two of these. So let's just put one back here as well. There we go. Eventually I'll connect this stuff, but for now I'm just going to have to run back and forth. The main thing is I want to get off this coal so I can just let these suckers rip, right? Let's do this guy next. So, actually, the way I like to do this iron is kind of set it up down here first because I'm going to pipe, go all the way around with it. But for now, I'm going to use this piece. My plan, and oh, I'm scrolling in and out with mouse wheel. My plan is to, to, is to make my iron production here. My foundries are going to be here. Then I'm going to take all the, that material down here, and my factories are actually going to be over here because there's no resource. There are no resources over here. It's a big old area. That's a great place to craft a whole bunch of crap up. So since my foundries are going to be here, I want to move this. My I want to mine this iron back so I can make room for my for my foundries. Okay, that's kind of my plan. But for now, right now, I'm just going to set some stuff up up here. Um, let's see. We want. We got two of those. I do need kind of need two iron almost right away. So I'm going to put them. That has 6.7k. These are not going to get mined out. It's not even really not, not going to matter too much. And I'm going to move these guys down this way. And then for now, I'm going to set up um, a couple more of these stone furnaces here. Let's set up four of them. So I'm going to do shift two to get those out. And we're going to set them up like that. That's probably fine. So let me see. Yeah, those belts, you need belts like every five seconds. <laughs> Just get used to creating them. Okay, so now I need also need um, how many of the uh, one, two, three, four inserters. We also need to bring our power down here. While we craft those, let's bring the power down here. So let's let's do it like this. Because I don't, oop, I don't have a lot of these poles. That's what she never said, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to need... Uh, to power these guys, right? Inserters need power, and then these guys need power. Let's draw it over here. While we're doing power, we might as well just come bring it down here, and then we can probably put it here and get everything for those guys. All right, so now we've got iron popping out here. Now we need our inserters. Let's put them on this side. All right, now we just have to put coal in them. 
let's put half a stack each. These are the only things that we're going to have to manually feed for right now. There is a way to manually feed these coal. We will be doing that eventually. I just want to make sure my iron production stays running because, let's check, oh, we have plenty of stone. I'm not going to worry about that guy. Because I want to make sure, what you want to do is make sure you don't run out. See, I'm running out of iron plates already. And if you stop producing for a while, you're going to have to go back to mining. Just really don't want to do that. So you're going to see our, our foundry is going to be pretty giant. And I'll show you as we play through on this how to know when you should uh, increase your foundry and stuff like that. So there we go. We've got another electric drill here. And this one, we're going to keep it going right into that its own uh, foundry right here as well. And we're just going to put a whole stack in there. I'm not going to worry about it. This guy will just run and run and run and run. He's got 9,600. We're not going to go through that anytime soon. I'm going to set this up too. I just want to make sure I don't run out again. I don't like to sit there and wait. This game is not about waiting. It's about trying to be quick. I mean, even though I have not found the aliens to be all that aggressive, you still, you know, you're know, you still trying to beat the clock, right? I mean, you're not just trying to be lazy and sit there. Let's see. Uh, Q will exit out of that. E opens the inventory right here. Um, what do I want to build? I want to build another one of these. Let's just make two more. We need more plates. Really could just keep this. That's a big enough inventory. Yeah, let's remove that. And then we're going to do, let's see, let's make another. Uh, I need plates. Iron plates. So, yeah, 23. See, we're doing, we're doing really good on iron now. It goes to an 100. You can see it stacks at 100 there. So let's craft up maybe two more drills. We don't have to wait next time. Probably need a couple more inserters. Again, because I don't want to wait. Do we have one? Yes, we do. There. Now we're going to have a nice source of stone as well. Um, another thing I like to do is plop them down over here. You know, I'm going to do that. Let's move this. I want to get rid of those other spots. See, it, see that it dropped that little piece right there? If I stand near it and hit F, it'll pick it up. So let's get these back. We don't need these right now. This is going to be a good source of stone for me later. But for now, I'm just going to I'm going to mine up these other ones. They're kind of they're not in the way, but I will eventually build over the top of them. So it's better just for to mine them out. You know, since we're needing stone anyway. Let's just let's do one at a time for now. We don't have that many resources. And we use the regular box it was already doing. Um, might as well get them out of the way so I don't build over the top of that stone. Again, stone being very hard to come by. And there you go. So that guy will just run and run and run. And might as well put some... Uh, again, control, click to put all of it in. We'll just take two more stacks out. Once this box fills up, it, the, the drill will stop. And it won't consume electricity... And it won't con it won't consume any resources that are sitting on the ground. There's also a way to make it stop earlier. You click that and drag. And that will mean only put in five stacks and stop. We don't want that for now. We want to mine everything out, so we're fine. That you cannot build over, but if I shoot it with my gun, I can kill it. But I don't care if to right now. Just if it's in your way, you can do that. Got a good amount of coal coming in. Don't even need to look at that. So let's look at the, how much production we're using up right now. We're getting there. We're probably going to need to build another steam uh, engine pretty soon. Because we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five drills running right? Six? Six drills and a bunch of these uh, inserters. Let's just put another one on there right now. They're pretty cheap. What are they like? Yeah, not much. 20 plates, not too bad. Let's pop that guy down. And we don't need to do anything except hook him up to power here. And we're good. Because we already have enough boilers, remember? I set this up so I can put three, basically. It's five boilers to three, and then I'm going to make another line. All right, so see, he stopped. He's got no work to do, so he's not going to keep mining. And these guys aren't, you know, everybody stops when there's nothing more to do. So the next thing we're going to do, and really we're out of time. That's kind of how you get set up to begin with. you got all this iron coming in. That's the main thing you're going to want. Uh, most things require tons of iron. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, he's... Ah, I see what's going on. Let's remove this. There we go. What it is is we need one more drill. Too bad I can't put it right there. I can just move this. Let's do this. 
I'll move this over to here. And I think I need to move this one too. Let's move this to here. That way, I can put another drill down right here. Now remember, since you can move them, you don't. It's it's not a big deal to put an extra one down. And if you're like, oh, I don't really need any more, we'll just pick it up, and move it. Or if you don't want to put it, if you want to move your operation, you can. Now, what I want to do is I want this iron ore to build up. I want to keep these guys busy at all times. These guys can basic. Oh, he doesn't have power, huh? I didn't, okay, well, let's just do this. Let's put it right in the middle. You want to keep these guys busy. It's all just like in Minecraft mods. It's all about watching for bottlenecks and stuff like that. This guy is now disconnected. So let's just put another one in right there. All right. So that's going to do it for my first episode of this Let's Play. Let me know what you think. Um, it's getting going pretty good. I think the next thing I'm going to do is get my iron foundry going. It's going to be right in here. Um, basically, iron's going to move in this way. Coal's going to move in this way. And then down a central line, and we'll smelt everything and get the plates out. You'll see. It's pretty cool. Um, also, there's technology. I have not started research. I should start it fairly soon. Um, but we'll start that in episode two. I want just wanted to get going. You can build different um, factories and different things. You can get lasers, missiles, trains, um, flying robots that resupply you on the fly. Just there's tons of stuff in this game. Uh, gun turrets, which will help defend your base a lot. Um, armor. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So stick around. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, stay frosty.